The native home to the lionfish is in the Indo-Pacific region of the world, some 10,000 miles away from the Caribbean and Western Atlantic. There are two types of lionfish which have invaded. They are the red lionfish, Trosus volatens, which is the most predominant, and the black lionfish, Trosus miles. Lionfish are now established as far north as Massachusetts, as far south as Venezuela, eastern points to Bermuda, and as far west as the Yucatan Peninsula and almost all points in between. During daylight hours, the lionfish hides in the crevices in and around coral reefs and rocky outcroppings. At night, these nocturnal feeders are out in the open devouring the juvenile and adult reef fish, such as grouper and snapper, shrimp, crabs, and other invertebrates, leaving the coral reefs bare. Currently, the coral reef ecosystem is very stressed, resulting in an overgrowth of algae, ultimately smothering and killing the corals. The fish was named because of its fan-like fins, which resemble a lion's mane. It herds its prey into a corner with the large fan-like fins and swallows them whole. It has been said the lionfish can eat prey one half its own size. The fish grows a half a millimeter per day, or approximately 10 inches per year. One study in the Bahamas showed a single lionfish reduced a reef fish population by nearly 80% in just five weeks. The fish are found in shallow waters to waters hundreds of feet deep. The dorsal, pectoral, and anal fins make up the 18 venomous spines. Each spine is covered by a loose sheath of skin which contains the venom glands. If you get spined, it causes a very painful sting which must be treated with very warm water to detoxify the venom as soon as possible. The female lays two egg balls containing a total of 30,000 eggs every four to five days, totaling two million eggs per year. Scientists take various measurements, such as the standard length, which measures between the fish's nose and base of tail, the total length, measuring between the nose and the end of tail, wet weight, the reef's location noted by GPS coordinates, the date, depth, and time. The fish are tagged with color-coded ribbons, which identifies the coral site the fish were first located. With this information, scientists can predict how fast the fish are growing and if they are staying within their original site or moving to other reefs. Currently, a few ways to eliminate these fish are through fish derbies where divers enter spearing contests to reduce the population on the reefs or through commercial fishing by removing as many fish on the reefs or by supplying local restaurant menus with this light and mild fish. However, we're not going to quell the problem of millions of lionfish throughout the Caribbean and the Western Atlantic anytime soon until we figure out how to control their mating habits or find a natural predator known to the lionfish in this hemisphere. Mm -hmm.